The island was frozen, the temperature was unbearable, and the engines were suffering miserably. What's the temperature, driver? Oh, let's see it. Holy crap, it's minus 20! <laughs> oh, it's not that bad! In Aberdeen, it would get quite nippy during the winter months. Well... At least... Oh no... I've got to take the Flying Kipper tonight! HA! Good luck with that, boy! Driver, do we have to take the Flying Kipper tonight? I'm sorry, Henry, but the fish must get to the mainland. <coughs> it's no use. Your engine is frozen. Oh, Oh, there it goes. Well, it's about time. Come on! The engines all found life very difficult in the snow. The tracks were icy, which made getting around impossible, and huge snowdrifts were blocking the lines. Eventually, even Donald and Douglas were starting to get miserable. It's no use, Donald! We're stuck! We ain't stuck! Just put some willy into it! One, two, three! See, I told ya! But when the twins arrived back at their sheds, Sir Topham Hat had bad news. Thank goodness you two are back. The village of Ulfstead has been hit by a catastrophic avalanche and is almost completely buried. I need you two to get your snow plows and plow your way through. I sir! And the twins were all geared up and set off. But getting there was easier said than done. The snow was fairly shallow as they entered the far far branch, but they soon found themselves in deeper drifts. Just before Maithwaite, there was a giant drift taller than Donald and Douglas themselves. STOP, Dougie! STOP! But the rails were icy, and they skidded helplessly among them. Oh, it's absolutely freezing in here! Oh, 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 God. This drift is at least 15 feet deep. We're not going anywhere now. Soon, the Fat Controller heard the news. Oh dear. Well, Thomas and Percy are both trapped at Nofa Quarry, so the nearest engine would probably be James at Ellsbridge. I guess that's our best bet. Pull them out of the snow? I'm freezing it as it is. Sorry, James. Donald and Douglas are on an important rescue mission at Ulfstead, and you are the nearest suitable engine. Rescuing the rescuers. What a life. James arrived at the scene, cold and miserable. Thank goodness you're here. The snow is becoming ice around Donald and Douglas, so it's impossible to dig them out. You'll have to pull them out. Yes, please do. 
Jones, James was attached to the twins with a rope. And try as he might, his wheels slipped helplessly on the icy rails. Oh, it's useless! Come on, James! Pull harder! James pulled and pulled and pulled. He pulled for over an hour, but every time he failed miserably. Must have five hour energy! Come on! Come on! Let's get- No! I'm done pulling those wretched Scots! And that was that. James didn't move another inch. Ahem! <coughs> I think I was the one who got rid of that spot from Blackburn and helped you up the hill. Now, let's see. We tried shoveling, but the snow turned to ice, so that didn't work. And the rails are too icy for an engine to pull the twins out. The crew thought of many methods to try to melt the ice, including urinating on the snow, which only froze on their genitals, causing major discomfort and smashing rocks on the ice, which bounced back and bruised them quite badly. They tried everything, but nothing worked. Jesus Christ! Curse this wretched ice! Just then, Toby came up. Oh dear, you really are stuck in the snow. What are you doing here, Toby? I've come to inform you that Thomas and Percy have been rescued from an awful quarry, and they will proceed with the rescue of Olsted. In other words, as soon as possible. Oh, for sick! <laughs> I was afraid of this. Well, I better head back. No, please help us. Give James a hand, will you? Well, I see no harm in doing so. So Toby buffered up to James, and the two engines pulled as hard as they could. Come on! Get out of the snow, you wretched bat! Twins remained stuck in the snow. This is just pathetic. Toby, go and get the Fat Controller, please. The Fat Controller was having his dinner at McDonald's, so he didn't get the message till late at night. I'll attend to the matter in the morning. It'll be too much trouble to get out there at this weather tonight. James and Toby both went home, leaving Donald and Douglas alone with their crew. They blasted their radio and tried once again to dig the engines out, but the temperature was so cold that even their saliva froze. Get us out of here, please! The drivers and firemen tried as hard as they could all through the night. They tried many methods over and over again. Eventually, the sun rose without a wink of sleep from anyone. Oh, screw snow! God damn you, Wolfstead, for getting us stuck in this mess! I've got some matches over here. Fat controller sent them. Okay, what the- Aha! Get over here and help us! The workmen tried melting the snow with the matches, but the freezing weather just completely doused the flame. Presently, Diesel arrived, pulling some fuel. What has happened here? I need to get this fuel to Farquhar! I've got wagons full of flammable substances! Sorry, but Donald and Douglas are frozen in a block of ice! Hey, uh, wait, flammable? Hey, do you think we could use some of that fuel as an igniter? Oh, what? Am I talking to a bunch of adolescent rednecks? The driver explained the situation. You'll probably just blow up Donald the Douglas rather than rescuing them. But seeing it may be my only way through, I guess you can have some. But even dowsing the bank of ice with fuel, the crew couldn't get a decent flame to ignite it. At last, the fat controller arrived with Henry on board. Who explained what they were trying to do? A very odd but creative solution. Yes, but it won't light! It's too damn cold! Hmm. Jesus Christ!
Christ! The fire didn't last long, but it was so hot, not only did it free Donald and Douglas, but it melted their wheels. Ah, it burns! Hooray for the Fantastic Fort! Good grief. <laughs> no wonder Lady Hat sleeps in another room. After being frozen all night, it was great to have that gale of heat. But not those burning flames! Just look at us! Now then, let's get moving back to the shed. Didn't we just tell you our wheels are melted? Oh, uh, right. Uh, bugger.